County, December is upon us. Football is in the home stretch, and we're covering all areas of the field tonight. We have wall-to-wall -wall football. Cowboy sideline reporter Christy Scales is joining us tonight. Also, David Irving joins the show again. Eugene, the hitting machine Lockhart will be here. He's great with the fans and the ladies of Be Up Media. And musical guest Brittany Dawn. Let's do this. The fame starts now. The fame. Lindsay, Tony and Dallas's biggest names with all things football, food, fandom, and fun. More than just the game. Welcome to the fame. Welcome into another edition of the fame, everyone. It is going to be a great show. So good job for tuning in. I'm Lindsay Draper, joined by Tony Banks, and we have 25-year Dallas Cowboys sideline reporter Christy Scales joining us. Christy, thank you. thank you so much. Thank you. 25 sounds like a long time. <laughs> Makes me sound old. Maybe we should just go with five they instead call that of 25. That's OG original, right? That's yes. Right. Well, that was the year that Jerry Jones and the Cowboys started their kindergarten hiring program. So, you know, <laughs> oh, not, not really exactly. that old. Exactly. <laughs> Christy, obviously been here forever, seen a lot. What is going on right now with the Cowboys? Well, Injuries, obviously, uh, it's so tough without your starting quarterback, and the spirits were so high the last couple of weeks, and when Romo went down on that final play of the third quarter, and it was obvious that, that it was the collarbone again, just the way he reacted, I, I knew that they were going to take him immediately for x-rays, and you, you didn't need any digital imaging or an x-ray to know that it was going to be a, a fracture again, just because when he was flat on his back and he reached over with his right hand and touched his left collarbone, it was like an instant replay of week two. But the air just absolutely left AT&T Stadium, and you could just yeah. feel it. Uh, but the thing is, after seeing the Giants and the Redskins last Sunday afternoon, and unbelievably, right? unbelievable. the Cowboys still have a chance, three and eight, and still only how two it, games out. So I don't know how it's possible, but it is. Chance. I'm saying there's a chance. <laughs> no, it, but the thing is, Matt Castle, 0 and 4, when he filled in, he took over for Brandon Whedon, but he has had more time to work with some receivers and Des Bryant still trying to work through injuries. It's not really the foot anymore. It's the left knee and uh, left ankle, but uh, if they can get some practice time together, that's another thing is these injuries are not just affecting, and you can speak more to this, Tony. It, it's not just that they're not playing together on Sundays. It's that they're not getting the work during the week, and that manifests itself on Sundays. No doubt. That week of practice is so important. And, and back to that quarterback situation, you've seen the, the Troy Aikmans, the Danny Whites. <laughs> the, and Tony now, Bay, and the Tony <laughs> Bankses, that's right. <laughs> the Tony Romos and other that's Tony. Right. That's right. Can you tell us something that all those guys might have in common? Because you talked about the energy level that the team showed when they knew Romo was coming back against uh, Miami. Yeah, there's this kind of a certain swagger or moxie, if, if that's a word, an attitude, the way that people respond to him, not just the teammates, but there's just a whole different energy level in the building during yeah, the no week. Doubt. You can really feel it. Romo, Romo has that. And, and it, that was apparent really even before he took over for Drew Bledsoe oh. in, in, in that people were – no, people were drawn to him, you know, the way that uh, he interacted with teammates in the locker room. And, it, and it's different when you're a backup and you can be, you know, hang around the locker room. and No he pressure. Even, he even would enter. Yeah, there's no pressure. He doesn't have to do all the conference calls and, and things like that. But, but you, you could tell that people were drawn to, to Tony even before he stepped in as the starter. Christy, you obviously know your talent. What do you think of David Irving? Oh, Boy, when he came in, well, his Keep first game. Keep in mind, game, he's here. Just I know he's, he's here. here. I know, and I'm we'll not just things. saying this because he's going to be sitting here in just a few minutes, but they sign him, and just a few days later, we have that game in New Orleans. He has, uh, I just remember writing on my sheet, I keep a little uh, notes on the, the sidelines. Oh, so that oh I wow. Can refer back. Hey. There he comes. Hey. Oh, we go, come on, David. There was a right. big shadow come That's over right. me. Welcome in. We were just getting a scouting report on you. Nice, very but no, nice. I, I just remember, I mean, people, it's like, is it, is it Irving 95? Who, who is this guy? I just remember writing down TFL, you know, tackle for a loss. And we hadn't had that many of them yeah. uh, this season. And I think you ended up with two pressures 
in that uh, very first game, and you know, sacks have been an issue this year, haven't had too many uh, for the Cowboys collectively, but you came in and just brought a real energy. Plus, at six foot eight, they list you at eight or six foot eight or six nine. They like to keep it at six, seven, and three fourths. Six, seven, six, but eight with people. your shoes, six, it's eight, six, eight, eight and a half. Yes. And just like, who is this guy? You know, you would get down in your stance, and it's like a human eclipse. You couldn't see anything on the other side. So David, I just remember it's been, the energy. It's been a couple of weeks since you've joined us. How, what do you feel has, has changed for your game? I mean, as far as improving in just a few weeks. Uh, I feel like <clears throat> I'm staying lower. You know, coach keeps driving that every day, even practice or non-practice. He's on me. Stay low, keep your pads down. That's the biggest thing for me, being 6'8". If I come off and stand up, they're going to get right under me and I'm blown off the ball. So, uh, you know, he, he says if you start off the snap right, it'll carry over to the end of the snap. I tell you what, I know a couple things that have changed since we saw you here last. I mean, you got the fresh fade, you got the new gold, you got the new watch. I mean, you know, I, you know, I, like, to, I like to see these things, you know. I, you know, I'm, I tell you, pay attention to detail. Trying to do a little something, you know. <laughs> well, Christy, as far as, as watching talent, like we mentioned earlier, how exciting as a, as a broadcaster like yourself is it to talk about a new guy coming in and making big changes? Oh, that's it. Sometimes you have guys that uh, are on a practice squad and you hear good things about them. For example, Cole Beasley yeah. was just whipping. They couldn't cover him in practice when he was on the practice squad. And then he came in and, and it took a little, a little time. Uh, but with David, you know, he's a case of the guy comes in and because he had been with Kansas City, right? And yeah. then just immediately makes an impact. So, so that's a lot of fun. And, and so that's the thing about, uh, I know that there's a lot of talk now at three and eight about the Cowboys like, oh, well, should they let Des play and things like that? And that is such, <laughs> that is so bogus. So about, you want to tell the fans and, to stop saying tank it, the season? Anybody who's saying, oh, for draft picks or, yeah, oh, I'm getting tired you know of that. What? Young guys can step in and contribute immediately. You don't, you don't have to bag anything because these young guys step in and show it because they're proving themselves and earning the trust of the coaches during the week, and then they come in on Sunday. And good luck trying to get Dez out the game. I mean, good luck exactly. Yeah, who's going to tell him he can't play? Do you guys wish we could have Christy Scales here every week? I do. I do. It's time for us to take our first break, though. Round of applause for Christy. Great, oh as always. True professional. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us. And on the other side of the break, we have much more with David Irving and Eugene, the hitting machine Lockhart, joins us on stage. That's right after this break. Grab a crisp, refreshing Bud Light, put two plans on the table, and let the NFL coin toss decide. Okay, heads, Todd says we go to Tina's pool party tomorrow. Nice. Tails, we go to the beach all day and snuggle. Nice. Wait, autocorrect, he meant snorkel. Cool. Oh. Snorkel. Yeah. Bob Lavelle here for HMS with frequently asked questions. Joe asked, Bob, your client seems so happy with their experience at HMS. Is it because of the great home deals they get or great customer service? Joe, meet our customer service department. Well, it's time to stop waiting. It's time you move on out. HMS can get it done. back here on the fame hanging out at the rustic thank you guys so much for joining us here tonight it's a great show we just had a great time with christy scales continuing yes. lindsey draper tony banks with david irving mr herringbone or <laughs> <laughs> david glad you're with us um grab that mic and let's chat got it so let's talk a little bit outside of football you have your beautiful family here with you tonight. Yes, I do. Miss Zo Zoe back there. Zoe and Annette Zoe. Irving. How are you? She's covering her face, but it's okay. She said no paparazzi. <laughs> What's the best part about being a dad? Oh, man. I'd have to say everything. I'll tell you the worst part. Worst part? Waking up in the middle of the night. Mm. Zoe. Can any dads relate? <laughs> They're like, yes. But yeah, Zoe, she's a, she's a daddy's girl. I love you, Zoe. We love you, Zoe. It's time for the crowd actually to put their hands together again because we are bringing out one of our favorite guests here on the fame, Eugene, the hitting machine, Lockhart. The all-time hitting machine. Dallas Cowboy hitting machine. He's waiting on the fog. 
in the What's fireworks. What's up, Eugene? Welcome, welcome. Hey, before, before, before I sit down, can I say something? Absolutely, you okay, can. Okay, let, let me say this. Let me say this. Uh oh. Chris is scared. What now? Now, was she the professional? Professional? Wasn't she great, guys? She was awesome. We love Christine. Come on now, give us, give us, give her a round of applause. She was great. Now, 25 years with the Dallas Cowboys. Like, and let me tell you something else. There's another person here who's been with the Cowboys some 46 years. Miss Price. Stand oh, up, Ms. there Price. she is. Yeah, Miss Price. And you know what Miss Scale said? You know, uh, the, the Cowboys had some swagger about them when, when Tony Romo came back when he was getting ready to play, and, and the, then the air was let out when he hurt his shoulder. But you know what? Miss Price has seen this team come through some adversities time and time and time again. And she Preach. always remained the greatest of fans. And that's what we need all you Cowboy fans out there to be for the Cowboys now. We need some more Miss Prizes in the house. Do we have some Miss Prizes out there in the house? Yeah, I see them. Do we have some Miss Prizes in the house? All right. Now I can start. That was great. I needed All right, that. There go. And go to commercial. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Hey, no need to apologize. How was your Thanksgiving? What did you do for Thanksgiving? I'll tell you what, every year, you know, for the last uh, seven years or so, you know, I do a, a turkey giveaway. And uh, I started working on it uh, some in, in, in October. And we was able to give away a thousand turkeys this year. Oh, that's, that's huge. awesome. Right. Yeah. But that you know what? Deserve a round of applause. It wasn't so much all about me, but it's the foundation that I rep represent. But we had some great sponsors, man. Milestone Electric. We had Matthew. Uh, a lot, a lot of more guys that helped us out with it, with the turkey giveaway. But the thing is to see the, the people face, cause the awesome need that's out there. And man, I tell you what, you think you've been a blessing to them? They truly are being a blessing to us because they received it so well. David, uh, up until being a professional. Mm -hmm. Do you have any Thanksgiving traditions or favorite foods? Man, macaroni and cheese. Not Velveeta, though. Ah, like, there you go. The real the, cheese. The real macaroni the and cheese. Yeah. The cheese and sweet potato pies. Yeah. Uh, my grandma used to make them every Thanksgiving, every Christmas, too. So question for both of you guys. I didn't mean to interrupt. Fried turkey or baked turkey? You, you first, Eugene. Well, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, you know, after giving away so many turkeys, I really don't want to see a turkey. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so neither. You know, uh, neither. You know, I, I like the baked turkey the best. Yeah. You know, just uh, because it's so, so soft and tender. It's better leftovers. And warm. Yeah, better leftover sandwiches. So, uh, you know, but any, 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 any turkey really is good. But go. What about you, Dave? You know what? To be honest, I've only had fried turkey one time. Uh -huh. My uncle made it at, in Compton, and it was great. Ooh, the Compton fried yeah, turkey. Yeah, the Compton fried turkey. You know, we'll that's a, that's a different turkey right there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this Thanksgiving, I baked one. They don't know about the West Side right here. <laughs> nah, not too much. <laughs> to, to wrap up this segment, I want to ask, as a former player and a current player, I want to put this theory to bed that the Cowboys are going to tank the season in order to X, Y, Z, whatever the fans out there are saying. So we'll start with you. Well, I'll tell you one thing. And, uh, you know, one thing that you absolutely have to know about the Cowboys is we are America's team. We, we're, we're not the New England Patriots. We're not Cincinnati Bengals. We are the Dallas Cowboys. And all that we are known for is winning Super Bowls, going to playoffs. That's what we're known for. Whoa. We don't understand nothing about <laughs> tanking, nothing. So all of that talk, that's just new. That's for new. That's for 105.3 and all those type of people who are trying to get a segment across, okay? I'm ready to suit up. But let me tell you something. When you go out to Valley Ranch and when you step into Cowboy Heaven, Cowboy Nation, we don't tame nothing but our next opponent. I like player. to follow up, but I mean, he said it best. Come on, you know, let's suit you know, up, man. I'm yeah, ready to put the pants on. Eugene, uh, coach you know, us up, man. No matter what happened, we, we have to keep doing what we do. We play football. That's put to bed. We're on to the next game, and we're going to practice just as hard. So, Does that deserve a round of applause or what? All right. All Thank right. you, guys. Hey, they'll be joining us next later in the show for some really fun games, so stay with us. But right after this, the ladies of Be Up Media will join us on the fame. America's favorite vacation company is flying nonstop from Dallas-Fort Worth. Save hundreds with Apple Vacations to Mexico and the Caribbean. 
Secrets Resorts and Spas offer unlimited luxury for adults-only escapes. Airfare, hotel, premium brand drinks, gourmet meals, all tips, and more. Call your travel agent or visit us online today. Apple Vacations, America's favorite vacation company. Grab a crisp, refreshing Bud Light, put two plans on the table, and let the NFL coin toss decide. Okay, heads, we host a bocce tournament. Tails, tackle football. You're like a horseshoe tournament. Full contact tackle football. I just, how's that fair? Welcome back to the fame, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Our show rolls on. Our ladies of Be Up Media, Brooklyn Easley and Kristen Bradford, are here with us now. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. You look beautiful. Tell us about Be Up Media and how you guys came together. Well, we are Be Up Media. We are a media company, and on the we actually have a radio show. My name is DNA on the radio show. Mine is Brooklyn with two O's. Uh, you can find us on all social media at Be Up Media, and we will tell y'all everything that we have going on. We'll talk to you, have a little fun. Perfect. Absolutely. Well, we are so glad to have you on for Tony's segment. That's just rude. I know it's going to take it up a notch. There you go. Absolutely. I'm excited. <laughs> now, ladies, this is a segment we like to maybe see if we can impact manners worldwide. You Yay. know, the, the millions of viewers that are watching this show. We mm. want to maybe talk to them about some current events and see if these examples are rude or not. Right. Okay. You feel me? I'm here right. for it. You ready? So the first one. Is uh, I don't know if any of you all, you guys saw the Soul Train Music Awards. I don't know if Woo! this is right. Yeah, yeah. So Erica Badu, the host, took a shot at Iggy Azalea. Yes, she yes. did. When she was talking about no rappers allowed, but then she said Iggy Azalea can come because she's That's not, not a, a rapper. She's not exactly a rapper. Now, is that rude, ladies, or is that just me? Well, that, we, <laughs> that's so rude, but... but It was funny. It was funny. Yes, we went I mean, to the... I'm, I'm sorry. Did. We went to the um, watch party where Erica Badu was there, and she explained that joke. What did she say about <laughs> it? She was basically saying that... <laughs> <laughs> she she didn't think she would get the clearance to do it actually. Yeah. She didn't think you that saw she would the get look the on the audience to do a lot face, of right? stuff. And they let her have creative freedom. She was actually the executive producer of the show. So yes. they let her have reign to do pretty much what she wanted. And so that was our answer. So there you go. <laughs> so that's yeah. just rude. That's so yeah, rude. it was a little All right, rude. next we got Chris Rock, the famous comedian, going through a divorce with his with his wife and they yeah adopted a young child when she was like six months from Africa and been living with the, going to school with the Chris Rock family. But now Chris Rock is not claiming the girl from Africa, only claiming his biological kids. Now, I, I still think that's just rude, but that's right. just me. What do you ladies think? Yes. Well, me personally, I mean, everybody in Hollywood, they adopt these kids for publicity to a certain extent. And then you end up with a child and you end up in a situation. And when it doesn't go the way they want, we've seen this with Sherry Shepard. We've seen this with ah. a few other people yes. where they're in the situation with a baby that they didn't sign up for 100%. And, I mean, he lives on the road anyway, yeah. so. That's just rude. So treat it's them almost rude. like a product. I right. You. That's just rude. It's rude either it's way. True. Now, the last one, Lindsay, Taylor Swift and a film crew upset uh, some New Zealand con conservationists because they were endangering animals. It was only supposed to have one film truck right. on the set. They ended up with 12 film trucks. No, 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 no. I no, mean, no. Taylor Swift, you think about this sweet, wholesome girl. Now she's endangering uh, species in New Zealand. I think that's rude to I can't get, people. I can't get mad at her, only because if I was Taylor Swift... I would want everybody to catch me at the right <laughs> angle, too. I mean, I'm just oh, saying. Oh, she had like 12 it. cameras Right. <laughs> they just happened to show up. She had no idea they would yeah, be there. Yeah, she don't have too many curves. Right. Oh She's trying God, to get the curve angle. Not oh, my camera. gosh. Right. Oh, right. You. She had no idea. It just no, happens sorry. that way sometimes. <laughs> I also love I these love ladies, ladies and wish they could be with us each week. Yeah. You guys are great. So where can Thank we you. hear you? We are on Be Up Media at on all what. All social, social media, media website, so you can check us out there, and we'll give you all of our contact information from there. You can follow yes. us. Um, we'll be at Zero Degree Lounge here in Dallas on yes. December 3rd for Perfect. Genesis the Menace. Awesome. Thank you, ladies, so much for joining us. Thank it's time you. now for you at home to check out Beer 101. Mm.
I'm with brand development specialist Shamir of Ben & Keith Beverages, who always brings great stuff to the fame, so thanks for joining us thanks tonight. Thanks for having me. What do you have uh, in plan for tonight as we're moving into the holidays? Well, we actually have Belgian Zone uh, Duval, which is a Belgian Strong, 8.5% uh, ale. That's actually full body, um, very easy on the palate, and full of effervescence. And I'm assuming it's going to go great with some rustic appetizers, am I right? I definitely believe so. I think with the cheese and the bacon that are in here, savory dish, I mean, it's a perfect beer. Give us a pour. What does it look like? So you'll see that it's very golden in color, and it's actually something similar to a champagne, maybe. Beautiful. You're a pro pour, by the way. Always great <laughs> stuff you. from Shamir. Stay with us. We have much more to come after this break on The Fame. Don't just watch the game. Open up a can of football with a crisp, refreshing Bud Light. Bob Lavelle for Home Marketing Services. Here today to discuss the New Year's resolutions that we've all made. Let's see. There's... Uh, going to quit smoking, yeah, like that'll happen. Uh, going to lose those extra pounds, work out, yeah. Uh, going to be a better person, whatever the heck that means. Uh, going to quit renting and stop making the landlord richer. Hallelujah. Get out of the rent race. Hallelujah. Finally, a resolution we can all keep. Tony Banks, David Irving, Eugene Lockhart joining us, and we have a really fun game. It's been a good show so far, right? Yeah, let's do right. it. Take Come it up now. a notch with a game called Name That Tune. So here's what's going to happen. We're getting in the Christmas spirit. We're going to play a little Christmas tune. Me, 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 me. David me. is going to name the song and then sing it for us. And so is Eugene. What Who's going say? first? David's going first. David's Are we ready going to kick first. this game off? I'm ready. Let's, on, let's crowd, give it a try. You help him out. This is really easy, though. You should yeah, get this. Help me out, please. Help me, guys. Tune. Do I got a beatbox? Uh -uh. I got it. <laughs> Go ahead and name it and sing it. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry, Merry Christ Christmas. Okay, we, we got it. a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Lovely. Yeah, All right, David's go. got one. Eugene, it is now your turn to name that tune. <laughs> go ahead. Uh oh, they're in cahoots. Can we hear that tune again, please? <laughs> we help, a lifeline. Can we get a lifeline? Like the cowboys, we need some help. Up Can we get a lifeline? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Right. The remix. All right. All right. The remix. One to one. David's up next. Name that tune. Go. Think about them Sundays. Cut it off. Make it. Make it cha challenging. Joy to the world. I don't quite know the song. The, okay, you know it. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive our King. Yeah. Like the Cowboys did a Christmas album. Oh, that would be so awesome. Okay, that's lovely. Good job. All right. I like how you guys scattered the last little part of that. <laughs> all right. That's all right. That's what it sounded good. Do that. As a quarterback, you should know. Play Eugene. You got an audible sometimes. You got that little baby. Go ahead. This is you. La, la. Could you say play that again, please? 
Another lifeline. It's just fa la la. Fa la 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 la. Get it. There you go. Yes. It's a lot of laws. La 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 la. Yes. Okay. You got it. La 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 la. La la la. All right. Hopefully this one stumps David. Go ahead with it. All right, it's Old Christmas Tree. Good. Oh, but wait a minute. Nice How many of you guys know the words of that song? Hey, I'm, man, I'm Lindsay and I this. are the hosts. Oh, yeah. You and Eugene are the That's ones the in the name oh. that tune. Yeah, but we football players. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we're football players, you know. We're not uh, artists or anything like that. <laughs> Hey, I don't know what this extra color in David's hey, hair. He might, you know, he might play the piano, or guitar, or something behind closed doors. Anybody want to sing "Oh Christmas Tree" with David? He needs help. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. That's all we know, <laughs> Mr. Christmas tree. He went. It's a Christmas tree, guys. That's okay, right. last tune. Eugene, finish strong, baby. Come on, baby. Silent night, please. You got it. Did he call it up? <laughs> there it is. Surprise. It's silent night. Jingle Surprise. bells. It's jingle bells. <laughs> Look at that smile. Always <laughs> come yeah. round yon birds. Look how they're looking at each other. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, that was deep. So tender. Oh, so tender. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Luther. Luther. All right, all right. Okay. Uh, Favorite Christmas song? Go. Favorite Christmas song? I'm sure yours is Silent Night. Silent Night. Okay. Mine is Jingle Bells. Perfect. Mine is Let It Snow. Let It Snow. I'm so proud of y'all. Good job on the Christmas songs. I like anything Christmas. I'm crazy about Christmas. That's a cop out. That's who you say. How about next time? Next time? You can go, girl. Lindsay, your hair looks way too nice to cop out like that. We're out of time for this segment. Gina's wrapping me. We gotta go. I'm sorry. No more time. All right, okay. Thank you guys so much for joining us. It has been such a fun night. Brittany Dawn is up next with a concert for you guys. You are going to absolutely love her. Come hang out with us Monday night. Not this coming Monday. You'll be gone on the road. But next Monday, it's our season finale. So be at the Rustic at 7 o'clock. For Tony, David, Eugene, I'm Lindsay, everyone else on our show, thanks for tuning in to the fame. All right. Merry Christmas. On that table by the door, I ain't living this lie no more. There ain't nothing.